This is my third fucking attempt at this. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna take a break. Start episode 5 again. <clears throat> you might notice the bandit cam on top of the. Yeah, OBS has hated this fucking episode. So we're trying bandit cam. Hopefully it fucking goes better. We'll find out. Jesus fucking Christ. I haven't gone far in the episode. You only have the first achievement. I haven't even gotten to the first big choice, to my knowledge, unless, like, one of the choices I've done, which seems small to me, were actually a big choice. I don't know if calling Romeo the fucking name is a big choice. I do know this loading screen is enjoying its time. Loading screen. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. I know you want to watch this, but can I? No, there's not. Good uh, friends do what you ask. Check those way to fucking skip enjoy it. Enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Fuck you! You betrayed us. You can't. Yes, it's my go-to insult now. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend... <sighs> Such a disappointment! That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. I mean, I appreciate you as a Jesse's fun villain. Friends, way better than season one. Of a better Jesse. And now poor Jesse is dead, having never learned his lesson. Season one villain, which I call the, which I count as the Witherstorm. He is the villain of season one, all eight episodes. Not the all eight, but of, all of the season. Really is that Jesse will never You're get better to than the Witherstorm. Witherstorm wasn't that good of a villain, though, so that's not saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Let's do this shit again. I'll notify you guys when we get to where I've stopped. Loading screen, loading screen, load, load, loading screen. Loading screen, loading screen, load, load, loading screen. I will load your doom. You will fucking die, you piece of shit. I'm gonna load your doom. Give you all and take a shit. I'ma check the footage, make sure it doesn't fucking suck. All right, we're bandit canned. We're, it, it fucking it's way better than the OBS was. I'm using this. Sorry, you guys have to deal with the bandit cam signal. I hate it too, but you know what? I got I can't fucking stop it. I mean, I could try and fucking crop it off, but then you lose Man, some of the. Lucky thing that the admin didn't think to fortify these tunnels into town. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. 
I know she was... Well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. I guess. She deserves a break. I think Zara's already done plenty in the fight against Romeo. And she's been at it a lot longer than we have. She deserves a break. Yeah, that's fair. Ugh, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that heckmouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. They're in danger, is what I said. We've seen so many terrible yep, my things friends are suffering. done. Just remember, Petra, things look bad for us. But who knows what horrible things are happening to our and friends. Uh, the people what in a great Beacon pep talk, right Jesse. Uh, great pep talk? Yeah, yeah, I was close. No, it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Yes, hear we you? are. Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! Mine was loud. Here we go. We're fast. You looking at the rain, June June. There we go. All right. I was, I was just, let's go. What the fuck, Telltale? Fix your goddamn games. Cool. All right. Chill. Chill, dog. Broham. My. Grixis Magic the Gathering deck going to fuck you up, dog. D-A-W-G. Dog ham. Fun fact. The easiest way to make an insult is mix two words that have no correlation together and turn it into one word, such as dog mouth. Or... Chicken fingers. You fucking cunt dick. You dick you dick cunt. You're a fucking dick cunt. Yeah. And you like that shit. Shit face. Loading screen. Oh, oh, cool. Right when I started singing, it's like, nope, don't sing that shit. We're, we're loading. Just don't ever sing that. Welcome to Beacon Town. Population Hitler. No. And then we're going to see the Lucas sign with crosses on him now. Well, here's a cut out. I don't remember that happening last time. What do you guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. Instead for the map store. That's a good idea. We've me. gotta find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. This will go without any problems, because this is not a telltale game. Admin. And 
he's with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. <sighs> Typical. Heading exactly where we want to go. We're after where I stopped. And I guess we just can't get caught. Like I said, I wasn't far in. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on some of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. It didn't go that far last time. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to at all. No, so all right, cool. So it puts you in cinematic if you go all the way across. See, last time it just had me just watching so from my position. To happen to a town, Fun. Like Champion City, for example. Here we go. And boop. Sims 4 Digital Deluxe is ready to My, play. No! And just had an update. This is where I call Rumi of the I name. There was still a chance of redeeming her. No, I'm not so sure. Champion City. He he's a monster. Up. Yeah, he's a monster through and through. And he needs to be put, put down. down. Yeah, I. I guess you're right. If it gives me the option, I might actually have Jesse kill him. This might be the first time I have Jesse do the bad thing. Because I think he would. He'd be pretty fucking pissed. Now, how about you run along and get that fireworks show ready for the big keynote, eh? Yes, admin. Uh, Jesse. Yes, admin. Uh, Jesse. Look at my daddy's spag, Junior. Look at him. Look at him. I think the admin's distracted. Yeah, we should grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? You this is where I stopped. Right after I grabbed him. City. And now, one less thing to worry about. Psst, Olivia. Axel. <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew it. I just knew it. <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh. And this is where I stopped when we're walking away. <clears throat> Jesse. This is right I... where I stopped. What is Come on, I'll explain everything, but we have to get off the streets. To the map shop, quick.
don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath the bedrock? Yep, and I haven't seen any of this. Now where I yeah, were. I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside, Axel and I almost did. And honestly, I'm trying not to think about it. I do the same thing all the time with stuff that stresses me out. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra. Joy Martin is in did Hearthstone. Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. Oh, it's our fault. No, Jesse, don't do that. We're why the admin is here in the first place. Everything that happens now is on us. So glad you guys are Jesse's okay. still the guy who's gonna take the blame whenever he can. He's fucking self-hating. To see if he Did Jesse still tell you about the potato yet? My potato. Uh, what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of oh. passage. Hashtag potato four five one. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. Nothing to worry about. We've got our best fighter here yep. with us. As much as I appreciate the <coughs> completely accurate compliment, this is the admin we're talking about. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. How am I feeling? Jay! Oh, I forgot you guys missed it. Uh, in the original recording for this, I actually remembered his name. Because I called him it during the loading screen. I was like, Jack, right? I think, I think it's Jack okay, or Jake. Jack? I'm going Jack. Uh, fine, I guess. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here. I was right, yay. Bombing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. Everything ransacked. These are chance events. The admin, looters, what? I, uh. But I should be complaining about a few missing treasures. You had your whole identity stolen. <laughs> I, I can't even imagine how that must there you feel. Go. I, I let him vent. He, he yeah, really could use it. It's not the best, but we're gonna beat Romeo. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Might be something useful in here yet. Uh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. Constant Flex! Praise our Lord and Savior, Constant Flex! Right? I don't care for Olivia that much, but since she's next to Axel, I'll talk to them both, I guess. Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything about a terminal, maybe? No, the guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? Miss Lucas. You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... He's just been missing. Kind of went underground. I'm 
I'm sure he's okay, though. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. We'll be here. You do that. Keeping an eye out. I'll be doing shit that matters. Later. I will talk to friend of Fred. Since I don't really know her, it means I can learn shit. Hey, Binta. Adjusting okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. And of course I'm gonna talk to Petra. I still ship. You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Champion City has me a little more worried than I'd like, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. Help Jack do what, necessarily? And I imagine- I think it's the bookcase I have to fucking look at, cause... I don't think that has a marker I've noticed. I don't think we're gonna be able to read our way up to the tower. Guess not, alright. Disguises? I'm surprised nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. They do, though. Disguises. The admin hasn't seen your you and your cool new armor, which means it's a mystery. Still not be able to tell it to you. <coughs> yeah. So your name's Lord Hoseington. No, oh, Wings. This? Hey, Jack. Wings, right? By the tides, I'd almost forgotten about that stash. Are these Elytra wings? Yep. Those are super rare. Yeah, got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Fucking coward. Lucas! Oh. Nami! <laughs> Bullshit! Never letting you out of my sight That's again, Admin. Nerm. Never again. But how did you get out of that prison? Because I oh. broke them out! <laughs> Even better. Ivor, what on earth were you just doing? Hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That's that cool. That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you! Oh, oh my oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor. Founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend. Standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. Oh my, my god. It's a complete wreck. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor? Just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor? Of the Order of the Stone? <laughs> this is quite God damn it, pleasure. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Of course it is. And you are... Oh, me? Oh, I'm, uh, the, uh, the, uh, stalk, the, uh, stab, well, from the, I'm, uh, <laughs> nobody. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello! Always nice to meet a fan. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. 
fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker! My story about you dying in your escape attempt? Admin loved it. Knew he would. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Thanks, Ivor. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. Nice. It was incredibly difficult and took many, many days of intense mental activity. Well, you're a hero, Nerm. Jack should watch out. You might start stealing his glory. Nerm, the Sunshine Rock. Ooh. Ooh. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information. I mean, of course it's fucking guarded, but... Let me guess. There's guards, right? Yes, yes! Though I requested a post there, the admin appointed special golems to patrol the place. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, I'm talking out. No, oh, he's awful. You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. That's actually not a bad idea. I could try. Right? I mean, if you could get me to talk about my feelings, it might be worth a shot. It's true. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> They do with fireworks. No oh, shit. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Hmm. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. You never get backstage without fireworks skilled you know. You wanna catch up? grab them. We suit up and boom, backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. None of this is gonna work. There, I got the bear smile. Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. It's Romeo. The what? I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. Second, those fireworks go off. I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. And then you guys swim up. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. Then the 
three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows we were there. See? That's adorable. Okay. That might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. I'm just, very good at crazy. This could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. She's already on our side, remember? Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. She's on our side. We got her in the prison. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. You're wrong. Stella might have caused a lot of trouble in the past, but I know I got through to her in the Sunshine Institute. We can trust her. Sure hope you're right about that. I'm right. And if I'm not, I'm right anyways. Well, I can stab Stella anyone does says I'm know wrong. where the Fireworks Guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? Yes. You, you may. Can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin. I could play that I'm. You yeah. don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Jesse, I know you think Stella's on our side, but you can't trust her, okay? Be careful. I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck. Yeah, friend. that's the hard part. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Five two scores. All right. I actually fucking love that. I loved every bit of that. That was amazing and adorable. Minecraft story mode might be fucking dumb, but I love it. Like, it is stupid, but I love it. Time to find Stella. Are those the, uh, what are they called? The weasels? No, the, uh, the ocelots. Those are the ocelots, right? They look like the, I'm gonna assume those are the ocelots. Can I just, like, ignore them? I don't want to talk with any of the ocelots ever. I mean, I imagine it's the one by the guards, but let's go this one. That's just rude. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought that was like fire on Ruben. I was like, that's just rude. Jesse, dude, just unveiled the new statue you built. <laughs> yeah. It's got, um, character? Yeah, I kind of liked the old one, but. Whoa! Oh, one second, my cow. Backaroonie! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. <laughs> Sha. I'm, I'm too nice to be an asshole. You know what? I changed my mind. Let's bring the old one back, shall we? Dude! I can't wait! 
wait to see it again. Not that, you know, this one wasn't... Like, go with your gut, dude. Especially if it wants the old one back. Sha! Yeah. I don't know remember the old one looked like. I mean, this gets me resources, so... Oh, he blocked up. Oh, Thanks, what is... Jesse, dude! I said, what did I make? Looks like it was supposed to be a person. And then I just gave up. And he's gonna be pissed. What? Wh where? Where is my statue? You there, Nelly? What happened to my statue? The one you just tore down because your gut told you to? What? What are you talking about? What is she talking about? Like two seconds ago, you, you, you were... You want to blame your insolence on me? Golems, take her away! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm yourself, dude! Like, take some deep breaths, okay? <sighs> oh, no. Nell. No, guess I was right. Cool. Well, I guess I mean, I guess I was wrong, because I thought the other one was Stella. And I came this way for the one that I thought wasn't Stella. So I, I guess I was wrong, technically, but I made the right choice. Whatever. You better wave at me, motherfuckers! Ah, I got an itchy trigger finger. Banners. It's not my fault. I I'm understaffed. Then hire more people. Force them. Conscript them. I don't care. Jesse Khan will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen, or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo. That's our ticket in. Now or never. I would talk to her if I could. Perfect. Now we can. Oh, gravel. Where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse! Back so soon! <laughs> Since when do you... Hmm, you're not the admin, are you? No. Hmm? Hmm? It's no use hiding the truth. I am not the admin. For I am actually the real bona fide... Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? I am so glad you're back. Pretending to be the other Jesse's loyal servant has been exhausting. I can imagine. That actually sounds awful. Wait, why am I just finding out now you're back? Don't you trust me, Jesse? I thought you'd move past your competitive nature. I actually me. only just got here. I am part of your core gang. I hate being left out of the loop like this. Honestly, Stella, there wasn't time to tell you. I'm sorry. Oh, I get it. 
didn't want to implicate me in your dangerous scheme. Yes. No, we just really didn't get around to telling you. Oh, yes, I know. Whatever. Look, Stella, I need these uniforms to defeat the admin. I don't have time to explain all the... No problem, oh friendo. Carry on with your top secret mission. <laughs> I won't spill anything to the admin. I happen to be an excellent actor. I shall get, get into, into character. Oh! Fucking Stella. Let's just, uh, separate, okay? Roger that. Exeunt stage left! Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, that's fucking... I love it, but Jesus fucking Christ. Exeunt! Ha! Ah. Do the dance of the people! What's the dance of the people? I do not know! Exeunt stage left! Ha! Ah. Stella, you're scaring me. Am I scaring you? Or are you scaring you? Ugh. Stella, fucking stop. And of course, as Jesse, I've got my best friends, Olivia and Axel, with me, don't I? Oh. Who are you? Yes, thanks, Jesse. We love being your best friend. Don't we, Axel? Oh, yeah. Totally. The resemblance is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Binta? The admin. He's right there. Right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused. Killing Fred. Inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just... Charge the stage and take my justice now. You would die immediately. Standing here idly, seeing that smile. Some I want payback too, but we've got to do this right. That's why we need to get to that tower, use the word of passage, and hit him where it hurts. You're right. I've waited this long. And as Jesse, your Jesse, I'm glad we as a town can come together to He's an awful actor. Let's go to work. Jesse. He is awful. Of course it was mandatory, but I sensed that you wanted to come anyway. So thank you for understanding just how important I am to you. No one permitted that here except Fireworks union, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. Yeah. <sighs> I'll find a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. Oh, we can. There is not a world where this works. What the? There's no fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? That's like planning a birthday party without... You know. See? The admin's human. He's messy, just like us. Yeah, he's a slob. Big whoop. But wh what are we supposed to do with no fireworks? Make our own? I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then, all we need is gunpowder. 
And a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. So let's grab the bamboo. No sugar cane, whatever. Who gives a shit? Ooh, sugar cane. So we can turn that into paper. Now let's go grab gunpowder off the creeper. Stupid. Gunpowder. Perfect. I mean, sure, if there's shit in it, I'll take some shit. Yeah, take it. Did you take it? You should have. Like, you never know when you're gonna need this shit. Huh. A copy of Lucas's book. Whoever owns this chest must be a fan. I am gonna chat with Petra. What's up, hey, P-Dog? you hearing this, doof? Which proves I'm the greatest thing ever to happen in all your lives. Let's look at the mathematical proof. What a self-absorbed... Ugh. Only for a little while longer. Yeah, we'll get Beacon Town back. I can feel it. No, oh, cool. There are some fireworks stars. Hey, okay, Ivor. At least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? I don't know what the difference is. I didn't even know fireworks stars were a thing. Well, obviously green. Love this one. It makes the fireworks shape like a green creeper face. Oh, that I did not know. I just picked green because it's the color of our eyes. Hey, Ivor, how you doing? <clears throat> Ivor? Shh, I'm in stealth mode. Completely undetectable to the human eye. How? Invisibility potions. You'll have to take my word for it. They're fantastic. Thanks for the back watching. It's what I do. High five. High five. I'll high five you. Right, you can't see it. Why do I keep forgetting that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you have any more? More what? Invisibility potions. Uh, nope. Sadly, I drank my last one to surprise you here. But I'll be watching you. From the shadows. Fucking idiot. Alright, it looks to be everything, so okay, craft let's some fireworks. I know how to make paper. I don't know why I'd want to make fucking sugar, but I might. I have enough. Sugar. Sweet. <laughs> I'm done. I can make two more sugars. Yeah, fuck you. Jesse, we need paper, not sugar. Oh, right. I, I made... Go. 
Jeez. What'd she give me? But paper, I already had paper. Isn't that a paper bottom? Oh, paper metal gunpowder bottom. Now there's a firework. Nice. Now just need to. Hey, Glenn! I. Wait a minute. You ain't Glenn. No, I'm not. And you ain't. <laughs> Hey, Beanstow. Huh? Yeah. That felt... That felt good. Really good. I didn't know it wasn't part of the Union. Come on. Don't pretend you didn't love it. You want vengeance, too. <clears throat> I did what I had to do. We've come too far to second-guess ourselves. You can't take all your anger out on that one guard. He was just doing his job. Yeah, you're right. Technically. Yeah, but I fucking his job yeah. shouldn't be pulling his sword on us. Ha! Huh, not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse, for everything. In, fireworks ready. Oh no. Yep. Uh, uh Jesse. Uh, hey Jesse. Yeah. Jesse, we wanna talk to you more about how great it is being your friend. And they came out just a bit too early. No. A light in the darkness. Mm. Firework lights. Firework lights. Do the firework. Firework lights. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Hey, Jesse. Think. Oh! Just need to. Oh, perfect. Just what I needed. Ha! Too slow, dummy. How Come fucking me, dare you? Uh oh. Whew, that was close. Okay, time to get the others. No, we're up here now. I mean, 
waterfall from where lava's coming Whoa, from is I pretty noticeable. Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. Also, is that photo like a photo of that golem's family? That's fucking sad if it is. Because that golem ain't never fucking seen them again. <laughs> They're never seeing him again. Downer Jesse. Jesse's kind of a dick. Okay, I'm not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. My enchanted Definitely wood storage. Strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? Hmm. I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something when we got in here. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those, but nothing. Nah, it's kind of hard to relax when you're in the middle of infiltrating a humongous tower, owned by a deadly madman as you try to find his office and take away his powers. That's fair. These are all the prison cells, I imagine. Hey, Lucas. Or not. Well, oh, it's her. Look who it is. Stampy Cat. I, I don't I don't remember. You're the woman from the Come out and play Jesus fucking Christ. No, that's an ocelot. Uh hey guys, what's going on? Stand down, ocelot. Hey Lucas. Lucas Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That's enough now. Oh, sorry. Oh man, I am loving that you brought the ocelot jackets back. You guys look so cool. It's not just about looking cool, Jesse. It's a symbol for the people of Beacon Town to rally around in our rebellion against you. Now, hang on, everyone. No, it's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, Because but... the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas. So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you gonna do about it? Thank you. Yeah, and telling us our builds were ugly. It wasn't me that locked you all up, it was the admin! Wait, what? No, you said you defeated the admin. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... no. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... How could I not? Okay. Yeah. It's you. How could I well, not? Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the Terminal. We have a word of passage. <coughs> Potato! That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially the Potato, but... I'm in. It's weird. You just lead the way, and the new ocelots will have your back. So 
so Stampy's an ocelot now, I guess. Well, cool. would you look at this? Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Certainly my badass suit isn't here, it seems. No. Oh, there it is. Probably gonna grab the Magnus armor. Now can I know it's a classic. Bet Magnus would be proud to know his armor was helping take down an admin. How can I not? Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Ho! Did you just call me a ho? Well, I mean, they're not equals to me, but, you know, cool. Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Hey, admin. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. Hang on, let me try and reason with him. Uh, hello, Jesse? It's over, admin. We're here to... Excuse me, excuse me, we? What, where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja, Ivor, told me you were dead! Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. Guess it got better. It was just a temporary case of death. Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant. What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I came me? to talk, motherfucker. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, a uh, Jesse. Ugh, talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... combat, dueling, build-offs. I want to talk because I know there's still good in you, Romeo. And I think that if we talk this out, maybe we can come to an understanding. You... you really think that? Yeah. He's gonna call me an idiot and just do shit. <sighs> I know I was all fiery He's and playing you. When you first showed up, but it's he is literally well. playing you. Blimey! I had no idea being you was gonna be this difficult. Wait, what? Oh yeah! I mean, I'm, I'm bloody exhausted. The, the constant whining, everyone asking for things all the time. Yeah, it gets pretty tiring. Ugh, it's insufferable. I need iron blocks. Oh, uh, bricks. Oh my gosh, I actually know exactly what you mean. <laughs> it gets really tiring, right? Oh, yes. And it's like, hello, uh, can I get a little me time? It's just... But it was fun at first. I show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe... I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, but maybe that is the best way to proceed. Be silent. I don't want to be smug. I don't want to be. <sighs> well, 
This has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here. It's still playing you. That I will totally remember for next time. Yeah, that's, he's playing next you. Next time? Yeah. The, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! Whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader, a great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these these wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'll have more fjords in the next one. Oh, I love a good fjord. Romeo, please give this world another chance. One more chance. Could. Would love to. But won't. Shan't. This way is easier for me. Oh well. Toodles. Oh, this doesn't seem good. Oh, you guys are okay. Yeah. He just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew, such a jerk. I mean, to be fair, Bedrock can grow. Oh, I guess actually, yeah, because there's no sun, so monsters. Alright, yeah, never mind. Like I was gonna say, it's not actually that bad. It's like, oh, yeah, there's no daytime then. Monsters can just spawn in there. I don't know how to stop this. How are we gonna stop this? We need to take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go! How do you Come fucking on. know that? We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. Fuck you, you be safe, Jesse. Shit, trippy space bubble. Jesse was not ready for that trippy space, bu space bubble. Trippy space bubbles are scary. Made it. We're here. Yeah, but we don't know where here is. Is that the clock? From the admin's tower? Yes! <clears throat> I mean, uh, I, uh, found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Yeah, kinda hard to make sense of it all. Huh, oh, well, it's the admin's place, right? So what would he do? He'd probably know where he was going, so... Admin protocol initiated. It's him! Oh, it's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected admin protocol. Oh, it's like a automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space.
Cool. Well, shall we? So, wait. He has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kinda makes me feel bad for him, actually. Shame that I got Petra off. Is that? An elevator? Looks like it. Please enter your password to begin a new program. I... that was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato four five one. A B multiply three, so three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Exactly right. Not at all. Guess we need to put something in there to get this thing going. Some chest. It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato? Please? Acquiring. Potatoes! Items dispensed. Thank you! I mean, that's cool. Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison. But it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm. Gotta figure out which one is correct. I hope this is right. I still need to enter the rest of the word of passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. I said potato four five one. Hmm, don't think that's exactly right. Huh, what is this thing? And what does it have to do with potato four five one? No, oh, wait. Get all twos, get rid of all three, get rid of all six.
All right, so. We know that's correct. Four, five, one. Okay, okay, that sounds like progress, right? Pirate party protocol initiated. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm guessing that's not quite right. Agreed. Sorry, parrots. Which means it is poisoned, all right. That's kind of funny, though. And there we go. Was that a good thud or a bad That was obviously thud? bad. It's Fred? Zara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. You're... Well, I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing?! What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you, your world's done! No take that! <laughs> Jesse, hurry! Here we go, motherfucker! Well, this should come in handy. What have you done? This is your big plan! Run directly at me! Just punch him again, hurry. I don't know what you're playing at, but it ends now! Can't fuck with the gauntlet wearer. I said it ends now! I... What? Come on! Oh, you, you think you're very clever, don't you? Yes. Well, how about we finish this with a little change of scenery? The... the Sea Temple? Kalukale, Jesse. Remember when we first met? Oh... That was back when I thought we could still be... friends. Huh. Gonna Figure miss. Out. This temple, this challenge, was my first gift to you. Now... It's going to be where I bury you. Fun. But, uh, fuck you. Running 
out of platform. Just <laughs> punch his hand. Nowhere to run. Oh! That worked. He'll use the gauntlet. Just die already? Fist bump. <laughs> One punch! <laughs> One punch! <laughs> this is impossible. No one gets to make me small. Do I feel so powerless? <laughs> no, we're back at the ice palace. Come on. I certainly hope you're enjoying this trick down memory lane as much as I am. We're doing this now. Stand back. Is that more room? The lag makes us this much harder. The lag makes it that much harder. Oh, fun fact, I was going to do the Enganrapa today, but then this came out. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Punch him in a smelly face. Give it up. Oh, I am going to... Uh, you don't... Don't touch me! Touch me! Touch me. Oh, hi, Jesse! Petra? <laughs> Aren't you happy to see me? Nah. Kind of. Our friendship's gotten a little rocky on this adventure, hasn't it? Little... Worn thing? I wonder who did that? I'm not listening to you, Admin. No? That's a shame. Here I thought it would be a nice way of working through some things. I actually do kind of like this boss rush. I just kicked your shit, admin! Not here, not here, not here. Not like this. Not as 
Wait, please, please, stop! Don't take all my powers away! Without them, I don't know what I'd do! You, you can't take that from me! Those powers aren't what make you special, Romeo. Powers don't make anyone special. It's who you are, how you act. Don't you judge me! You don't get to judge me! Give me back uh, that gauntlet! That's the cause of all this! Uh, let's go! Say that again. How's that level playing field feel, huh, jerk? Get away from me! Even at the end, you're so dick. Good to know. Do this shit. Thank you, Petra. I'd rather die than let you beat me. That's not good. No, it's fine. I've got him, Jesse. Super. Quickly. No. Administrate this. Bitch. Suck a dick. You have to go and make everything so difficult. Boop, we're back. Everyone likes you. And you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just... I just wanted people to... People to... Place is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. <laughs> We're doomed. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just, just leave me. My power, it was just frosting on a, on a cake. An empty, worthless cake. No, this is where I belong. This is where I'll pay for what I've done. I can't believe that, that this is what it took for me to realize. Oh, 
So He's playing you again. Blind. He's playing you. you can still fix things, Romeo. No matter what you've done, you're still a person. Like everyone else, you can be redeemed. Redeemed? You... You really believe that, don't you? Jesse, now's the time. We gotta go. Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. You're not staying here. That would be the coward's way out. Come on. Forever. Then why Let's did you move. stop moving? I couldn't tell if everyone went through or not. I mean, everyone on the screen went through. I couldn't tell if fucking everyone actually made it to the portal. I didn't see how many people jumped in. Looks like everyone. Ha! <laughs> We're alive! We are alive! <sighs> yeah, and not a minute too soon. Oh my gosh! <laughs> It's not to following me, right? Right? Nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, nice work. Sincerely, I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. I do know what I need to do to make up for my crimes, though. Kill all of you! I'm gonna return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Fix all the lives I... ruined. And I'm gonna try and find Zara. See if I can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I... what I did to Fred. But if I can heal things with Zara... Well, it's something, at least. And... and no more admin powers. Everything I do now will just be the normal way. 
Oh. It'll probably be a shock at first, but I think she'd like to try and reconcile too. Yeah, I hope so. She's sort of the only friend I have left now. You killed all the others. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the admin? Is he? Don't worry. It's not the admin anymore. This is Romeo. Well, that's a relief. No more admins for me, thank you very much. I agree with that 112%, Blondie. But Jesse, after everything he did, do you... Do you really think he deserves to go free? What if he hurts more people? He might... He might have been better off where he was. I know he was terrible, but I saw him sitting there, and I just couldn't do it. Even if he did deserve it, I just couldn't live with myself if I trapped him there. Well, that's because you're a good person, Jesse. But... I just hope it was the right decision. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. going on rebuilding I wonder what they're gonna do with the giant fucking siege tower in the sky I'm approaching you from this direction, and I'm coming to speak with you. What? No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Huh. After all the times you've snuck up on me recently, I appreciate that. Precisely my intention! My days of sneaking up on people are behind me. So, no more ninja Ivor then? <laughs> No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Understand Starting that. with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Ellie will be easy. Just need to stop by Redstonia. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. Understandable. Oh man, that's awesome. They're gonna be so excited. You think so? That's certainly the way I'm hoping it will happen. Well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Yeah, kinda. I enjoyed this Jesse! season. Jesse, hey! Hey, What's Radar. Up, Radar. I was just saying goodbye to. Guess ninja habits die hard. I uh hope you don't mind. But, uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been... stressful, but also fun. So, like, fun, stressful, stress fun? Being a leader is about staying humble. It's not a destination, it's a journey. Yes, I get it. And I just learned what you said. <laughs> I'm killing it as a leader. Whoa! Luna, hey, hey, right? Luna. Yep, Luna. 
I don't remember names. Anyways, oh, it's Champion City going. Uh, I forgot so nukes. With Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double check and see if you'd already you'd been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. Seeing, you know, that she likes you so much and all. If you've already built her a llama house when I haven't been around, I, I, I just wouldn't want to double up. Which, by the way, I'd be okay with you doing if you'd already built one. Or I can tell you mean a lot to each other in your own weird ways. I wouldn't want to come between that. Yes, yes, that's true. I really am sorry for how I acted, Luna. How I treated you. And I hope that if you'll stay with me, you'll let me prove that I can be better. Oh, Luna, darling. I can't tell you how much this means. Oh. I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse, for everything. You saw me at my worst, and you still thought I was worth saving. That, well, that makes me want to try to be better at being my best. Well, what can I say? I looked below the surface and saw that you probably weren't the worst all the way down. What was that about Stella being the worst? Hey, Petra. Hey! Stella and I were just talking about what a crazy road it's been. Yeah, no kidding. It was a weird one. Yes, well, we need to be running. Oh, and thank you again. For everything. Now, you got everything you need, all packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very, I don't know, bittersweet for me, you know. Goodbyes are no good. <laughs> that we have, Nermi. So, I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So, you're leaving, apparently? For how long? Honestly, probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow or whatever. Anyway. I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I... Ah! Come here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. jeez. It'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the Great Unknown, huh? I guess. <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. You could start a new town. I bet Petra would extend the invite. You could go, too. I appreciate that, but... I think it's time I settled down here. I just got the ocelots back together. Thought maybe I'd work on a new book. Hey, you guys are missing out on prime group hug action. Good. You don't think this is like the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving. No. Even if it is, no matter what, we'll always be best friends. 
And I know that you'll all be the best friends I ever had. Of course. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> Too late. Relatable. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> In the admin's cabin, I, I know you promised that we'd always stick together. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait, you're leaving? No, it's Joyce. Petra needs someone with her. You guys didn't want to go, I'll go. Yeah, I think Petra and I are going to hit the road for a while. <gasps> Sounds pretty awesome, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean it does, but but without you here, who will run Beacon Town? You will, of course. Things are peaceful now, but danger could still strike at any time. Well, let the people decide. We should let the people of Beacon Town decide. Right on. I'm confident I can earn their trust. Hey, remember, you're an invaluable member of this place. Everyone's going to miss you, you know? And I'm gonna miss them too. But if anyone ever really needs me, I'll be around. in a race. Ha! You're on! Mm, is that the end? Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 5. And that is the end of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. For now. I don't know if they'll do another fucking three episodes thing. It said to be by Petra's side no matter what. Yep. Never to be his own man and let him take charge. Helps sell a change your weight. Were we native with anyone? We helped Zarya see there was hope in the world. Were we naked with it? Like, did we just get... Yeah, we helped Romeo get out and, you know, try and change his ways. Were we native with anyone? Did we just get, like, great with everyone? Yep. Told Jack to be himself. Just like I told Petra to be herself. I 
Oh, you did tread and reason. I tried to be nice to everyone. Yep. And then you left with Petra. Oh! I'm not surprised that's real close! That was fun! I enjoyed this episode. Like I said, I think Minecraft Remote's fucking stupid. But I love it. I do enjoy it. If there is a season 3, I'm gonna play it. It's just really dumb. Like, really, really dumb. I don't know why it's- well, I know why it's- it's called Money, but... You know what? I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed. This was fun. You know, it's nice, warm-hearted joy. I got what I'm officially calling the best ending, because apparently I was positive with everyone. Chill. And you know what else? I hope to see you guys next time. Dance to that fucking music, bitch.